Well, of course, we make use of a lot of uh, different chemicals in our lives. And so in this section, we're going to talk a little bit about some of those and a few precautions you might want to take. So certainly chemistry gives us the materials we need that we use in our everyday life. Uh, knowledge about chemistry helps us to use them wisely. And so we want to make sure that you're aware of what's going on out there. We've already, for example, covered things like the WIMIS symbols which will place warnings on any hazardous product so that you can therefore avoid any injury or damage to yourself. But there's a few other things we might want to know about some chemical activity that take places that uh, should be of a concern to us. Uh, some of the environmental effects of chemistry are illustrated here. Uh, a very notorious one is the effect of CFCs. Uh, CFC is short for chlorofluorocarbons. And these are uh, materials that contain chlorine, fluorine, and carbons. Famous one was Freon. They used to be used in refrigerators and air conditioners. We don't use them anymore. Uh, they were used to help cool things down in, in refrigerators because they were non-toxic. Uh, they were non-flammable. That is, they, they would never burn. Uh, and they were thought to be safe to use in homes. But we found out since that uh, these chlorofluorocarbons react with ozone in the upper atmosphere. And we need ozone up there to block ultraviolet radiation which causes skin cancer. Here's the reaction that takes place. Right here is a CFC molecule. And when it gets struck by light uh, from sunlight, it, it kicks out one of these chlorines. The chlorine atom here then attacks an ozone molecule made up of three oxygens. And it breaks it apart and just makes ordinary oxygen. Now, not that there's anything wrong with ordinary oxygen. We breathe that stuff. But ordinary oxygen doesn't block UV. Uh, O3, ozone, this stuff does block the UV. Well, we get a, a molecule of chlorine oxide here, and in no time flat, that chlorine gets regenerated off, off again to go and attack another oxygen. And so what we end up getting here, here's a, a photograph from, taken from space that shows the, the south pole, and we've got uh, quite an ozone hole here where the ozone has been uh, depleted. Some health concerns, of course, you've learned about these in health class. We know that alcohol is, uh, is addictive, uh, a, a drug and a toxin to the body. Its, it's IUPAC name is ethanol. Here's its formula. And, of course, there's a whole wide range of health risks associated with overconsumption of, uh, of alcohol, not the least of which, of course, is damage to the liver, which can lead to cirrhosis of the liver. And uh, if, if pregnant women uh, consume alcohol, uh, then they can probably end up with a child who has FAS or FASD, fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. And uh, what happens, of course, is brain damage happens to these children. They're going to have uh, real trouble trying to succeed in school or get on in life. We've learned also about the effects of chemicals like nicotine. We know that, in fact, that uh, people who smoke tobacco have an incredible number of different chemical compounds uh, that they are putting into their bodies, and that these have uh, you know, effects on pancreas, uh, ulcers. Of course, it really affects their lungs and does terrible things to that. They'll often have heart disease later on in life. So there's a lot going on here. Um, of course, cancer is not the least, but here's what cancerous lungs actually look like. And it's not very pretty. Uh, a famous uh, chemical compound that we use an awful lot is a molecule called benzene. Here's what benzene looks like. It's made of a ring of six carbons, and it has these double and single bonds. It's a very versatile molecule. We use it in a lot of different kinds of organic compounds. It, it crops up all over the place. The, uh, the type of molecule it is, it's called a hydrocarbon, because as you can see by looking at its structure, it's made of carbons and hydrogen. So we call molecules like this a hydrocarbon. The problem with benzene is that it's carcinogenic. And that is to say that if constant exposure happens on this one, it's a cancer hazard. You could end up coming down with cancer later on in your life. It is used a lot in the manufacturing of many, many different kinds of compounds. And that doesn't mean the compound that's produced is necessarily harmful, but during the process, benzene might be used to create it. Of course, some of them are. Things like gasoline, of course, contain benzene. You wouldn't want to be you know, consuming any of that. So a very versatile molecule makes us a lot of products, as you can see here. Uh, but we've got to be cautious and careful as to how we use it. 